What's up everybody, welcome to Underwater. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about animating text. When it comes to animating text, timing is everything. Take a look at this 15 second ad that I created for one of my clients' social media platform. Before we continue, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done it. And also activate the notification bell because it does help with the algorithm. Also, make sure to stick around until the end of the video so I can show you a little trick that I use to make the background disappear from the floating light. So what we are going to do next is going over the entire timeline to see the techniques that I use and the tools to create this project. Okay guys, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be one of the easiest tutorials that you ever come across in YouTube. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to go to KineMaster. Then you're gonna tap on Create New. You're gonna select 16 by nine and you're gonna tap on Next. Next, you're gonna tap on Image Assets and you're gonna select any color because you can change it later on. I'm gonna tap on it. Then I'm gonna change it to uh, purple. Then uh, we're gonna OK it. You're gonna tap on Layer. I'm gonna tap on text. So I'm gonna type KineMaster. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So the reason why I'm saying that this is the easiest tutorial that you'll ever come across is because the only tool that you are going to use to animate your text within KineMaster is gonna be the keyframe button. So you're gonna type on the uh, keyframe button. And now you can, uh, doing that, you can mark the entry and the exit of your uh, animation to your text. For example, let's move the text to this side. And I want the text to come in, uh, into the screen like that, okay? So that's what I want. So the text is highlighted, okay? So I hide it out of the screen. I tap on the keyframe button, and I'm gonna mark my entry. You mark your entry and your exit with the plus button. The minus sign is to delete whatever keyframe you, you've done already. So I'm gonna tap on the plus sign, I'm gonna move my text, try to do it on a straight, on a straight line, and I'm gonna OK it. Now, if I uh, tap on play, I'm gonna have the uh, KineMaster uh, text coming in with the animation that I just did. It will happen the same thing if I do it from the top to the bottom. Let's go again to the keyframe button. So now I'm gonna use the minus sign to delete the frame that I already marked. So I'm gonna delete it and I'm gonna okay it. So now I'm gonna reposition my text. So I want it to come from the top. Again, I go to the keyframe button, tap on the plus button, and generate the movement that I want for my text. Want it to come down this way, and then here, tap okay. And now if I play it back, it's gonna come from the top. That is all I did with that commercial that you just saw. Take a look at the uh, timeline for that 17 second uh, ad that you just saw. So let's say that uh, I want that text that come uh, into the screen. Also, if you, you can also do that, the, the out animation with the keyframe. Go to the keyframe button, delete that entry, and create a new one. So I want my text to grow until this point, right here. I'm gonna make it bigger. And from there, from that point that I have marked over here, I'm gonna go to the end of the text, I'm gonna tap on the plus sign, and I'm gonna make it as bigger as I possibly can. All right, so let's see what it looks like. So that's how simple it is to create text animation. And to have the light floating around, what I did was I placed it on a tripod that comes with the light and I glue a green skewer to one of the sides so I can delete it alone with the green background and I mounted it on an electric turning table or Lazy Susan. You can also use a non-electric Lazy Susan or even a record player. 
The links for both Lazy Susans are on the description box below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Activate the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you next time, Underwater.